Liar, liar, pants on fire. To some people, this is a metaphor. To others, it's a truth. <laughs> About five years ago, when I, uh, no, that's eight, wishful thinking. Eight years ago, when I was a freshman in college, <laughs> I, uh, we, should, we should probably back up a little bit. As a kid, my parents were hawks. Uh, if I was going close to something dangerous, they would take me away from it immediately. Because, as, I, uh, as it was told to me, when my mother first left me as a one-year-old baby, lying on my back, to go change the laundry, she heard me scream, come back. I had managed to yank the drawer from a dresser out on top of me, and I was flailing with my arms outside of the uh, wooden sides, screaming, because I didn't know where the world had gone. It was black. So... Yes, I could, draw, or I could ride my bike to the end of the block, but no, I couldn't go out of eyesight. So, you can imagine when I get to UND, boo if you wish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or cheer, I, I mean, it was more popular than I thought. <laughs> Up to UND, I was a new freshman and I thought, okay, maybe I can get a little crazy. You know, brand new freedom, let's try this. So. I had a roommate, uh, name was Adam, and I had never seen beer before. So his uh, favorite pastime was to drink beer, skip class, <laughs> drink more beer, get his friends over for the evening, drink again, wake up and rinse and repeat. <laughs> he tried to get me to drink, and of course I thought, no, I'm taking the high road. I'm going to wait till I'm 21. I was 19 at the time. So I said, Adam, you can drink if you wish, but just don't get us caught. Well, I caught him in a slightly different way. I would frequently come back from class, which I did go to. I'd try to open the door. It was locked. I heard frantic scrambling, doors be or drawers being shut, typing on the computer, followed by a uh, jump onto the bed. As I got in, there was Animal Planet and a pillow across his lap. So, yeah, I thought, Adam, we are friends. We will never be this good of friends. And he uh, would never admit it, but I found out later that uh, it was actually broadcast to an entire uh, computer lab because one friend was getting a little vindictive and decided to take revenge. Funny story, not relevant. <laughs> so, here he, here he is, this... Uh, terrific role model for me as a bright-eyed, bushy-tailed freshman. He flunks out, doesn't tell me. I notice stuff is gone one day. So I think, sweet, I got my whole room to myself. And I think, all right, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do to break free? I decided to play Counter-Strike. That, you know. So I'm sitting there playing, and you know, I get a knock on the door. And they say, um, hey, do you want some free samples? We got condoms, tampons, and body spray. I'm thinking, well, I don't know how to use a condom. I don't know what a tampon is, and I'll take the body spray. So, there I am with a can of Axe, thinking, that's neat, you know, sprayed on me. Oh, God. I learned it very early that it doesn't smell so good at all. Not good. So I thought, hmm. What is the most dangerous creature on the planet? A bored freshman. So, I find a lighter, which was my roommate's that he had left there, and I'm thinking to myself, I've always wanted a flamethrower. So I'm sitting in my chair, I just recline, looking at the ceiling. I'm not looking where I'm aiming, by the way. This is a problem. So I spray it just a little bit and think, yeah, that was fun. Put it in the drawer. Shut it. I'm done. Don't need to see it again. That was fun. Had my fun. Let's go play Counter-Strike again. So thankfully at this point, I was not wearing my headphones because I heard a faint crackle. And I thought, uh, I don't think any of the counter-terrorist guns do this. Hey, guys, uh, is any... Hold on. And so I look over, and I have a bunk bed. And my pants had been hanging over the side of it. I didn't notice that the frayed edges were right in the blast of my uh, flame. 
So I have a four-foot inferno going on right next to my uh, dorm desk room, and I'm thinking, oh my god, I heard my grandpa did this and he threw a blanket on it, I think that's how I have to do this. So I took it off going, uh, 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 uh. so what do I do? I throw it on the carpet. The carpet catches fire, I'm like, ah! <laughs> shit! And I'm thinking, okay, 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 what do they do in the movies? Because that's where I get all my best ideas, right? <laughs> movies, TV, uh, Bugs Bunny, what does he do? He has a spritzer bottle, I don't have a spritzer bottle. Uh, so I'll just start stepping on it. So I start stepping on it. So wh what do you think happens when you already have a sizable fire and you try to step on it with socks? The socks catch fire. <laughs> so I'm sitting here, my left foot is on fire. I'm thinking, this, I, ugh! there's no words. I, because I didn't know what to do. The room was filling up with smoke. I thought, okay, m smoke inhalation, I could die. I got it. So I run over to my bed, I grab a quilt, and I throw it on the ground. And I'm thinking, if this doesn't stop burning in about 15 seconds, I am so screwed. So I'm sitting there, there's smoke everywhere, thinking, great, I'm here hanging out in Satan's fog bank, and I have no idea what I'm going to do. The burning slowly, slowly starts to subside, and I, my panic is going away, my panic is going away, the swear words are slowing down, going slower, going slower, coming back to decent folk talk. All right, we're composed. We're not. I walk out of my dorm thinking, you know, someone has to have heard or smelled or seen this. Now, you know, indeed, we have these little suites. So there is like room, room, and then bathroom crap. And then there's a door that goes out to the commons area. So the smoke really isn't out in the, uh, what do I call it? Oh, yeah, sweet. And I, my uh, sweet mate had his door open. I looked over and I said, uh, do you smell anything funny? Did you hear anything funny? And he said, uh, no. He, at the time, he had a jar of peanut butter and he's eating it with a spoon. So I thought, <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. I don't give a shit. Great. So I walk back in and I really, I can't see from one side of the room to the other. And then I think, Wait. I'm pretty sure that there are devices meant to prevent this from happening. I look up, and there's my smoke detector just blinking away. It's happy little blinking. He's happy to not have gone off. I'm thinking, this is, this is a good thing. This is a really good thing. Because now I'm not going to get in trouble. So I have the window open, and I'm fanning it out, trying to get it out as soon as possible. And after I get the smoke to clear out, I walk out one more time, look around. RA's not there. Good. Fast forward three months later. So the semester is about to end, and I'm checking out, and I'm talking to my RA, and I've handed him the keys. I've handed him uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. And I look at him right before I leave, and I say, by the way, the smoke detector in room 2015 doesn't work. <laughs> says, how do you know this? And I said, I started a fire. Well, what are you doing? I don't have to tell you that. <laughs> says, well, why? Why did you do it? And the only thing I could think of was, at the time, it seemed like a good idea. <laughs>